sometimes I kind of feel weird saying channel as if I'm welcoming you into my home. Well, welcome to my beauty room. <laughs> Okay, I'm kidding. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back at my channel. I am excited to do this tutorial because it is the new Naked Urban Decay on the Run palette. And I don't necessarily know how new this is, but I know a lot of people got it for the holidays. I mean, when I went to Sephora, there was one left and I ordered one online and it was just crazy. I mean, everybody was after this thing. So what the great thing about this is it has a contour color, a blush, a highlighter, five different swatches of eyeshadows, a nice um, little lip gloss here, eyeliner, and then a mascara. I think out of this whole palette, my favorite things are the contour and the blush and the eyeliner. And the mascara is pretty awesome too. Now the eyeshadows are good. They're not like my absolute favorite. And the reason why is because there's not a lot of pigment like there are on some eyeshadows that I love. and with the lighting I hope that everything looks good once I edit this video but I hope everything came out okay you can use on those eyeshadows a setting spray eye drop Mac fixes Mac fix plus gosh you cannot talk right now you can use Mac fix plus you can use um, the setting spray and I did that for the eyeshadows to get it give it more of a bold look and I went for a romantic soft smoky eye obviously you can see and there there's so many different looks that you can get out of this palette because of the five different colors so if you want to go natural you can go natural if you want to go more smoky you can I kind of did more of a medium smoky romantic look this is probably one of my favorite looks out of the whole palette so yeah keep on watching if you want to see this look Alrighty, let's get started. I've already applied my foundation and I used the L'Oreal True Match. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Color Tattoo Leather, the 24 hour eyeshadow. It's basically a base and I'm going to be using it as a primer for the eyeshadow. It's called Vintage Plum, the color. And from that palette, I'm going to be using the light medium or light color <laughs> um, as a transition color. And I'm using my blending brush from MAC. And as you can see, I'm kind of creating my own little crease. You can probably see below that my crease comes down really low. So that's just a little trick that I do. Now I'm applying the first color on that palette. It's like a cranberry color. And I wanted it to look more bold. So I used that setting spray on the brush before I applied it and kept on applying more for a bold look. Now, out my outer V, I'm going to be using the darkest matte brown from that palette, and I'm just going to be creating more depth into that, and just along the outer V, and then I'm going to bring it in and do circular motions. I am going to do add more, because you want to add more layers. Instead of putting a lot of eyeshadow on your brush, you want to just apply more and more and more so that everything looks well blended and not like a disaster. <laughs> So what I did just now is basically use that setting spray again and I applied it to that brush before um, I used the eyeshadow again. I'm not so in love with the highlighter in this palette so I used the vanilla shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And now I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm just creating little triangle shapes under my eye that's going to help get rid of those dark circles and just give it an extra highlight. And then I'm also going to use the Maybelline Age Rewind to give it additional highlighting. Now with my damp beauty blender, I am just blending everything in. And like I've said in the past, I love using this because it's going to really create a flawless finish and then it's going to remove any excess, excess product. Now I wanted a heavy coverage on my foundation so I didn't use my Beauty Blender for my foundation today. I used my MAC Stippling Brush. So yeah, I've used this True Match before on video but it probably looks a little heavier today and that is probably the reason why. Now with my e.l.f. taper brush, I am just going to set everything in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana Shade. And I'm going to be using a translucent powder just to 
blend everything in and set everything and I'm just using the stippling brush from e.l.f. Now with my Narzita brush, I am just contouring a little bit with that bronzer from that palette. And I must say it is one of my favorite things in this palette, including the blush. So we'll get right into that. Now with that e.l.f. taper brush again, I am just going to be highlighting. On video, you really can't even see this highlighter, but in person, it is a very subtle, natural look, not overly doing it. So if you are wanting a natural highlight, this is for you. This eyeliner is beautiful. In person, it is a dark brown smoky color. It's called Stag. So I am just going to apply it in the waterline and on the top. And I'm going to be smudging it. I never really wear pencil liner on the top. So this is new for me. And basically with that dark brown color that I used on the outer V, I am just going to kind of smoke it out just a tad because I don't want this to be overly smoky. I just want it to be like a medium smoky color and then I'm just gonna go over the eyeliner and just kind of smudge it all out now the lip liner that I'm using it is actually a nude lip liner it's called naked from Mac and I'm just gonna apply this all over now the lipstick that this comes with it's a little bit too dark of a pink for me it's not the shade of pink I love it's like a reddish pink so I wanted the lips to look like a nude pink with this medium smoke EI that I have going on. So I just applied the lipstick or the lip gloss over the lip liner. And since I want a little bit more pink, I'm gonna apply a little bit more. Mascara time and my, mask, my lashes need a fill. I'm going on Tuesday and I cannot wait. But this mascara is pretty awesome. I always use my L'Oreal Voluminous, but this is probably better, so I'm going to have to actually purchase this. I don't normally wear mascara. If you've been watching my videos, you know that, but I do whenever I need a fill or if I'm going out and I want more drama, so I am for this video because I need a fill. And to other people, I probably don't need a fill, but I like them glam. And we're done. So thank you so much for watching and if you have this cheek palette at home, try this look out and if you do, post a photo on Instagram or Facebook and hashtag Chelsea and I will put my name on the bottom and what to hashtag so you know how to spell it but of course you could see it on my user as my username. Thank you.